Drones and robots perform all sorts of tasks today, delivering pizzas, helping rescue workers, sweeping the streets, and more. Not surprisingly, the market for flying robots is expected to grow to $42.8 billion by 2025, not to mention land-based models, especially since practically anyone can build the version of their dream, for example on this $1,200 chassis. This is a 3D printed 32 by 25 inch model with 4 inches of ground clearance. It's easily adaptable to almost any task. An $800 add-on, for example, will turn it into a snowplow. The suspension can support up to 300 pounds of load, and there's enough interior space for 6 12 volt 12 amp hour batteries. This project is presented as a radical UAS, combining extreme heavy lifting and long flight duration. The length of the model is 5.4 feet, which is the approximate average height of a human being. Under the hood, there's a 38 horsepower hybrid engine and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery that will keep the drone in the air for more than two hours. The drone was developed by an American startup in cooperation with NASA, the United States Department of Agriculture, and the National Science Foundation. According to the creators, it is very versatile and will come in handy for firefighters, rescue workers, and even doctors, for example, for medication delivery. In addition, the company not only sells drones, but is also ready to train their operators and prepare a maintenance plan. The payload of the drone is about 100 pounds. Who lives under the sea? At the very least, communication cables. Their total length has already surpassed 621,000 miles. In addition, there are sunken ships, pipes, and other objects that need attention. That explains why an Australian company is making drones that can work in the depths. One of the older models by this company can dive two and a half miles, but today we're going to talk about a more compact model. However, don't let the size fool you. At the time of its release, it was called the most innovative model on the market. It's an underwater drone that dives to about 984 feet and is ready to carry a 6-pound payload. The picture quality is 1080p. Additionally, monitoring sensors, water sample collector, a sonar, a magnetometer, and other options can be installed. Controls are so simple that basic training takes only three hours, and there's also a first-person view mode. The manufacturers of this robot describe it as a big idea in a small format. This is a very specific machine to move airplanes. One of the cool features is that the robot grabs the nose gear in such a way that it can turn it on the spot. This significantly reduces the turning radius, which is ideal for aircraft carriers, and the gripping process takes only 15 seconds. No faster option has been invented yet, and the robot's brain can be adjusted from a laptop or a smartphone in remote access mode. The company's product range includes many options for various equipment, not only airplanes, but also helicopters and converted planes. For example, there's a model designed for the Airbus A320 family, with a takeoff weight of up to 200 107,235 pounds. The price is available upon request. This is the Yandex Rover Robotic Courier. The first version was shown back in 2019, and in quite a short time, several generations appeared. From Moscow to Dubai, in hot and cold weather, the robot managed to work in a variety of conditions. The main idea was to automate the routine delivery of small shipments. The project is quite successful. For example, about 100 R2 robots were made, and they're working successfully in different parts of the world, including the US. And the R3 version is ready to take 44 pounds of payload and has a 16-gallon compartment. 
A single charge will last about eight hours, and the battery can be changed quickly and easily. Also worth noting are the axles on independent springs, the improved LiDAR and fisheye lenses, five cameras and ten ultrasonic sensors, and six in-wheel motors. This is the world seen by a delivery robot that plans to compete with its Yandex counterpart. So far, the project is being developed, so not much is known about the technical characteristics. It weighs 75 pounds, has a 75 pound payload, and a maximum speed of 35 miles per hour. The plan is to charge $3 for delivery, and the designers claim that the robot will get anywhere in town. But it looks more like it's optimized for bike paths or highways. Do you think it'll make it to your house? This drone will appeal to fishermen. Like the previous model, it's also capable of multiple tasks. It can evaluate the bottom topography, take a video of the fishing process, and deliver the bait, as well as autonomously check the routes using GPS. The maximum control range is about 328 feet, and the depth range of the camera is up to 65 feet. Speaking of the camera, the 1080p picture is transmitted in real time to the owner's smartphone. Also, if desired, you can broadcast it online, as well as edit the material. Five motors help it stay under the water, and the battery capacity is enough for six hours of work. The model is great for ice fishing, and is compatible with microSD cards up to 256 gigabytes. The price is impressive too, about $600. Solar energy is gaining momentum. As it turned out, it's not only environmentally friendly, but also profitable. For example, Saudi Arabia and Japan set their sights on a $200 billion solar power plant project. Drone manufacturers responded and offered models that keep solar panels clean and tidy. The project you see on the screen offers large flying drones that carry smaller drones which do the cleaning. The process is fully automated, with the smaller cleaners adapted to work on sloping surfaces and ready to tackle sand, dirt, dust and more. The starter kit costs $118 and can service up to 20 panels. Unfortunately, sponsors from Kickstarter didn't like the project that much, and it failed to raise the target amount. But the creators are happy all the same. You'll definitely hear from us again, they reported in April of this year. Drone racing is gaining popularity around the world, and many countries already have their own drone racing leagues. The US has promised that they'll make a NASCAR, but for drones. This is a typical racing drone. This model is designed to fly at speeds of up to about 19 miles per hour. The battery provides enough power for 8 to 10 minutes of operation. The drone can be controlled from the controller or from a smartphone. It's available in three configurations, standard fly version, with a controller and a ball shooting system, or with a controller, a camera, and special glasses for first-person flight. The maximum control range is 328 feet, and if the weather's bad, you can also have fun at home, because the drone is compact and automatically turns off the propellers on impact. Next up is Swagbot. Despite its strange name, the robot is made for farmers. It's an invaluable helper in agriculture, because it can not only deal with weeds, but also graze livestock, and if necessary, work as a mini towing vehicle. The reviews highlight the following interesting features. The Livestock Monitoring System – Sensors will allow the robot to find sick and injured animals. Pasture Assessment – The algorithm will find the place with the most grass. And a Weed Control System – The robot itself will check the assigned area and spray weeds with chemicals. Each wheel of the robot got its own electric motor. On a more or less flat surface, it goes at a speed of about 12 miles per hour. There are lidars and cameras in the body and the tank with chemicals is located under the belly.
Robotic loaders are also very popular. Even Boston Dynamics has made its own version. 800 crates per hour, the company said. But not everyone needs that much, so even small robotic helpers will find their public. Its main feature is the simplest possible route setup. The machine is guided by stickers on the floor, and each sticker is a clear command. Here it goes forward, and here to the left. Combined with a simple app and the robot's touchscreen, even a person who's not familiar with this kind of equipment can set up the robot. The robot's payload is about 220 pounds, and it weighs 29 pounds. The creators promise that it can go anywhere a wheelchair can go. In addition, they offer ready-made delivery kits for different tasks. A basic universal kit consisting of a robot with shelves, LiDAR, software, and 30 stickers costs $6,500. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.